Fine, don't mind me if I laugh. Yeah, I'm already giggling. This is the schmo with the pro UFC lightweight Jalen the Tarantula Turner. We're at the Ruka Gym. How we doing? Doing pretty good. Now you got one of the best nicknames in the UFC and hairstyles, man. The Tarantula. Where'd you get that nickname? I actually own tarantulas. That was like my collection and hobby growing up. And you brought them here for the schmo, didn't you, Jalen? Maybe. Let's see it. Is the Schmo actually going to hold one of your tarantulas? We'll find out. This is real, folks. First time for the Schmo holding tarantulas. Jalen, man, I don't know how we're convincing the Schmo to do this. Okay, here we go. All right, the Schmo is holding a tarantula. All right, can you get this thing off of me, Jalen? We got a tarantula on the Schmo. We're doing it. My man, man, how'd you get the fearlessness to do this kind of hobby? I used to be scared of them, actually. I didn't like them for a while. And then I got one, and it was like a super dope pet. I was like, man, I'm going to get some more. And then I got like like 200 at one point. You ever been bitten by this thing? Look at the things on that. Nah, I've never been bit. I almost got bit earlier, though. Not by this one. It was another one, but she's cool. So you're scared of these things. You have pets with them now. What do they do for fun? What do you feed these things? You can feed them other tarantulas, you can feed them lizards, mice, like anything that they can overpower, you can feed them. Mice? Yeah. Like live mice? Yeah. Now talk to me for a second. You have eight professional wins, five professional losses, an up and down career, my friend. But what is it in the fight game that really intrigues you like holding a tarantula? Man, I love the passion of it. I love the sport. I just love like connecting with people. Like I get to do stuff like this. I get to pass some knowledge on how I got my nickname and then I get to you know spread spread positivity with the the platform that I got that's my biggest the biggest takeout from this when you made your UFC debut they had you at welterweight you went up there but you fight at 155 you'd benefit from a 165 pound weight division wouldn't you Jalen oh yeah no doubt I'd love a 165 pound weight division that'd be pretty fun you know I think I could be the first champion if they open that one up too so, you know, whatever they do, if it's 55, 65, I'm there. When you're entering the octagon, they play your intro music, and you're standing there mano y mano with the other man across from you. What are the thoughts going through your head? I got to take this motherfucker out. Any way possible. Any way possible. The first way I see, you got you to gotta go. Does your mindset, you know, first round, or this is going to be a battle war, a two-round, three-round thing, does those thoughts come across your mind when you're in the cage? Nah, I just want to. I just want to put them out. You want to put them out. Who do you look up to the most as a UFC fighter? It's always been Anderson Silva. He's always been my idol growing up. He's always been number one. Um, I look up to Israel. He gained a lot of respect from me after his last fight. But I've been watching him for a while. Um, you know, I always give credit to Jones too. You know, inside the inside the octagon, he's one of the best. You fought over there in Australia too, man. What do you think of all those fans out there internationally? Man, Australia was like that was that was my dream place to go. The fans was dope. I fought one of their boys. They was booing me when I went out. And then after I knocked them out, they was like, yeah. I was like, damn, I won y'all over in 50 seconds. That's, yeah, that was quick. That's a good taste of victory, man, for you. It was the best taste. It was sweet. I want to go back there. Did Anderson Silva, your idol, say anything to you after you got that W? I talked to him before the fight. He said, um, the secret is love, and I'll never forget that. That's the best advice you've ever gotten, I assume. Secret is love. Hands down. Best advice. What do you think he means by that? You got to love what you do. And if you don't love it, then you shouldn't be doing it. Well said, my friend. And 5, 10, 15 years down the line, what do you want all your fans to remember you, Jalen Turner, as? The tarantula. <laughs> I just want to be remembered as somebody that, that always tried hard, did his best, and tried to, uh, you know, achieve great things and achieve those, the, the goals that he set forth. So, you know, just want to be a, a, a bit of motivation and positivity for, like, the community I come from. Well said message, and you're sporting some Ruka. We got a photo shoot going on here today. Uh, you already know, got to rip the Ruka, you know, always put that in there, everything. Everything. And lastly, what's your one message for all the UFC fans worldwide? Watch me because my next fight is going to be one of my best fights. Tune in. The Schmo. No date set yet for the next fight? Hopefully September, Abu Dhabi. We'll see. We'll see. Let the knee heal up, and then, uh, you know, we'll try to get that worked out. Anyone you're eyeing it lightweight? Anybody. Anybody. No, no, no name. I don't care. Whoever. Okay, okay. He's the pro. I'm the schmo. We'll talk to you later. We're out. Wow. <laughs>